In Memphis, Nathan Bedford Forrest, a blacksmith's son who had made himself a millionaire selling land, cotton, and slaves, put up posters calling on anyone who wanted to kill Yankees to come and ride with him. The clinch rifles from Augusta, Georgia, started out in May 1861. Every man from every little country precinct wants a place in the picture. Only the drummer boy would survive. The odds against a southern victory were long. There were nearly 21 million people in the north, just 9 million in the Confederacy, and 4 million of them were slaves, whom their masters did not dare arm. The value of all the manufactured goods produced in all the Confederate states added up to less than one-fourth of those produced in New York State alone. 